wet your hands with water. Apply soap, rub your hands palm to palm and wash the backs of both hands and in between your fingers. Then palm to palm with fingers interlocked. Clasp your hands together and rub and then clean around the thumbs too. Rub your fingertips in the palms of your hands and finish off with the wrists. Rinse your hands really well with water and dry them thoroughly with a paper towel. Use the towel to turn off the tap. Your hands are now clean. Hello, good morning students. This will raise Aziz again. Today we are going to read the further paragraphs of the same chapter, Discovering Tut. The saga continues, chapter number three from your English book, Hornbill. So I'm going to read the rest of the paragraphs on the page number 25. Archaeology has changed substantially in the intervening decades, focusing less on treasure and more on the fascinating details of life and intriguing mysteries of death. It also uses more sophisticated tools, including medical technology. In 1968, more than 40 years after Carter's discovery, an anatomy professor x-rayed the mummy and revealed a startling fact beneath the resin that cakes the, his chest, his breast bone and front ribs are missing. So, what the writer is saying here in this um, paragraph that now things have been changed now. The archaeology, uh, earlier it was used focusing on the treasure only, but in the past few decades, decades uh, span of uh, 10 years so now it's been changed now now archaeology also focusing to find out the mysteries of death now it uses more advanced medical technologies and tools for research what happened in 1968, a professor um, who was from the anatomy department, he found out with the x-ray that King Tut's mummy. And what he found out, the front limbs and breastbone were missing. Today diagnostic imaging can be done with computed tomography. Computed tomography, computed means obviously computerized and tomography is technique of body examination through x-ray. So what the writer is saying Today, with the advanced technology, computerized tomography or CT, by which hundreds of X-rays in cross sections are put together like slices of bread to create a three-dimensional virtual body. What more would a CT scan reveal after it than the X-ray? And could it answer two of the biggest questions is still lingering about him? Lingering? Like uh, it's been pending or something like that. How did he die and how old was he at the time of his death? King Tut's demise was a big event. Even by royal standards, he was the last of his family's line and his funeral was the death rattle of a dynasty. But the particulars of his passing away and its aftermath are unclear. So now with the advanced technology, 
it can give a virtual image of the whole body of the entire body and uh, when king tut's body was scanned there was is still a question lingering that how he died and how old he was at the time of his death so now this mystery a secret would be revealed after scanning of his body his death was a shock to the royals also as he was the last person of his family and his funeral indicated the uh, diminishment of his dynasty and but it is still not clear what happened after his death because obviously that cannot be found by a machine or any technology so the machine could only find what could have been happened to him um, like uh, in which way he was died whether it was murdered or uh, injury or any disease so these things could be found out after a uh, ct scan and this uh, uh, computed tomography amenhotep iii tut's father or grandfather was a powerful pharaoh who ruled for almost four decades at the height of the 18th dynasty's golden age His son Amenhotep IV succeeded him and initiated one of the strangest periods in the history of ancient Egypt. The new pharaoh promoted the worship of the Aten, the sun disk, changed his name to Akhenaten or servant of the Aten, and moved the religious capital from the old city of Thebes to the new city of Akhetaten. known now as amarna he further shocked the country by attacking amun a major god smashing his images and closing his temples it must have been a horrific time said ray johnson director of the university of chicago's research center in luxor the site of ancient thebes the family that had ruled for centuries was coming to an end and then akhenaten went a little wacky wacky means odd way means different way so now here is another king whose name was amenhotep uh, and uh, his title was third so amenhotep third he was supposed to be a uh, father a grandfather a tat he was very powerful pharaoh and he ruled over a period of 40 years and now then um his son amnotep fourth he became king and uh, that was the strangest period in the history of egypt egypt why because he promoted the worship of aten the sun disk he changed his name to akhenaten meaning servant of the atens so he changed his uh, name himself to uh, akhenaten and that means servant of the atens he also shifted the religious capital from thebes to the new city of akhenaten which is now known as amarna and later on he attacked on 
Amun, um, who was uh, like a god. So he basically smashed his images and he's closed all his temples. Director of University of Chicago, uh, Ray Johnson, he said that it must had been a bad time for the empire as the family who ruled for centuries coming to an end. And uh, that ruler, that king, I can attend, he was moving in an odd direction. So, the next paragraph, after Akhenaten's death, so when that king Akhenaten died, a mysterious ruler named Smenekare, Smenkare, Smenkare, appeared briefly and exited with hardly a trace. And then a very young Tutankhaten took the throne. King Third, as he widely known today, the boy king soon changed his name to Tutankhamun, living image of Amun, and oversaw a restoration of the old ways. He reigned for about nine years and then died unexpectedly. Regardless of his fame and the speculations about his fate, that is one mummy among many in Egypt. How many? No one knows. The Egyptians, the Egyptian mummy project, which began an inventory in late 2003, has recorded almost 600 so far and is still counting. The next phase scanning the mummies with a portable city machine donated by the National Geography Society and Siemens. Siemens is a uh, company, its manufacturer. King Tut is one of the first mummies to be scanned in death as in life, moving regally ahead of his countrymen. So, after Akhenaten's death, another ruler, he came into power. And what was his name? It's quite a uh, strange and difficult name. But, uh, uh, it's Smen, Smen, Smen Kare, Smen Kare. He was kind of a mysterious ruler and he also died very soon. Nobody could find a trace of him and then uh, the young Tutankhaten, the King Tut, he succeeded him and uh, as we have been reading about uh, the King Tut, so he is the one now uh, in this paragraph, uh, we need to understand this properly. So he took the throne and what he did, he um, worshipped God Amun in the old ways but he died mysteriously in just after uh, nine years now the writer says that uh, Tut is one of the mummies in Egypt whereas until now with the help of the Egyptian mummy project which started in 2003 Almost 600 mummies have been recorded so far. 
and king tut mummy was the first one to be scanned by city scanner under the next phase of scanning the mummies with the machine and uh, these machines uh, were donated by the national geographic society and siemens a city machine scanned the mummy head to toe creating 1700 digital x-ray images in cross section that's head scanned in 0.62 mm slices to register its intricate structures takes on eerie detail in the resulting image with that's entire body similarly recorded a team of specialist in radiology forensics and anatomy began to probe the secrets that the winged goddesses of a gilded burial shrine protected for so long here the word eerie details it means a strange image of uh, uh, king tut and the word forensics i've explained this uh, um earlier to examine a dead body to find out uh, whether um, he was died naturally or unnaturally anatomy is a branch of science um, medical science and shreen means holy place so in this paragraph what it explains the city scanner scan the body by creating 1700 digital x rays in cross sections and king tut's head was scanned in 0.62 mm slices to record the small small details and what the scientists found it was quite strange it was quite surprising a team of radiology forensics and anatomy they started examining they started uh, finding out the secrets of the grave that had been protected by flying goddesses for a long time so let's read the next paragraph the night of the scan workmen carried tut from the tomb in his box like pal bearers they climbed a ramp and a fight of stairs into the swirling sand outside then rose on a hydraulic lift into the trailer that held the scanner 20 minutes later two men emerged sprinted for an office nearby and returned with a pair of white plastic fans the million dollar scanner had quite uh had uh, quit because of sand in cooler fan curse of the pharaoh joked a guard nervously eventually the substitute fans worked well enough the, to finish the procedure after checking that no data had been lost the technicians turned that over to the workmen who carried him back to his tomb less than 3 hours after he was removed from his coffin the pharaoh again rested in peace where the funerary priest had laid him so long ago 
So here the word palbius, um, they are the pupil who help to uh, carry a coffin for the funeral. And uh, the word swirling, sand outside swirling is like spinning or twisting. There are some uh, technical words have been used here also like hydraulic lift. Uh, it's a lift which works with the help of hydraulic system. And sprinted, uh, sprinted means like um, ran at a very high speed. It's a past form of sprint. So now the writer is describe, describing how the city scan was taken of uh, uh, the king third. Uh, it was quite difficult to do that. So what they did during the night, the people, the, the people who were working on that, they climbed up on the ramp and the flight of stairs to carry the body from the tomb into the spinning sand outside. They rose the body onto a hydraulic lift, then into a trailer where the scanner was kept. After 20 minutes, two men just ran towards the office nearby to bring two fans. Why? Because the scanner stopped working and uh, that scanner was stopped working due to the sand had entered uh, in a cooler fan. So the people, uh, some of the people, they started making joke of it that it was because of the curse of the Pharaoh. Uh, and uh, obviously because um, in in previous video I told that uh, uh, there was one sentence it was written that uh, uh, people were just whispering to each other uh, that uh, if somebody uh, disturb the tomb or the coffin there could be a curse so this is what the uh, some people, uh, you know, who were working to carry that coffin, uh, they were making joke. So, once the fan started working again, the procedure of scanning the body got finished. And uh, they checked the data. Uh, just in case if there was any loss and then the the pupil the technicians they took the body back to the uh, they given the body to the uh, those people who were carrying uh, sorry the pal bearers uh, you know like the people who buried who, who bury uh, dead body and do the rituals kind of thing. So they returned the body to the palbiers who carried him back to his tomb. In less than three years, oh sorry, in less than three hours, he was again resting at the same place uh, where he was buried many years ago. Back in the trailer, a technician pulled up astonishing images of Tut on a computer screen, a grey head hook shaped from a scattering of pixels, and the technician spun and titl uh, tilted it in, very, in every direction. Neck vertebra appeared as clearly as in an anatomy class. Other images revealed a hand, several views of the rib cage and uh, transections of the skull.
but for now the pressure was off. Sitting back in his chair, Zahi Hawass smiled. Zahi Hawass, the person um, who we mentioned earlier, visibly relieved that nothing had gone seriously wrong. I didn't sleep last night, not for a second, he said. I was so worried, but now I think I'll go and sleep. By the time we left the trailer, descending metal stairs to the uh, sandy ground, the wind had stopped. The winter air lay cold and still, like death itself. In this valley of the uh, departed, just above the entrance to that tomb. So, when they were carrying back in the trailer, the te a technician, a man, a technician, he just took some astonishing images. A grey head took shape from a scattering of pixels and the technician spun and tilted it in every direction. Astonishing, amazing. And the pixels, um, is, uh, this word is used for uh, graphic images. So a pixel is a single point in a uh, graphic image. It's a kind of unit. And spun to turn around. And the word vertebra is uh, like um, small bones, um, kind of, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the back bones, the small, small bones, they are called vertebra. So what happened in the trailer? Uh, he just shown some, uh, you know, astonishing, surprising images of Turk uh, on a computer screen. So he showed the grey head which was scattered in pixels and he just, you know, like uh, he spun it around. He shown this in uh, every angle and uh, um, and he also shown the vertebra, hand, rib cage, and transection of his skull. As the work was done, the pressure was finally uh, finished uh, from the shoulders of Zahi Hawas. So he was sitting in a chair and he smiled. And he said, now he, he was not worried anymore uh, because he was thinking what would happen. He had not slept the previous night and now as the work was done now, now he said that he would go and sleep. By the time they left the trailer the wind had stopped and the winter air was like death itself just above the tomb the orion constellation shone in the night sky watching over the boy king that was all i hope you understood and uh, if there is anything which you did not uh, understand please do not hesitate and contact me you can take picture of the paragraph lines or words and send it to me on my whatsapp number and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much enjoy your day ahead bye bye